Evernote versus Joplin, which one is better? Hello and welcome to our channel, WebWiz. In this tutorial, I'm going to make a comparison review between Evernote and Joplin. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So basically, Joplin and Evernote are two popular note-taking apps. But let's start first by knowing the platform Joplin. So just open your browser and kindly go to joplinapp.org. And if you haven't signed up for Joplin yet, you can check the video description below for a special discount link. But before that, if you don't know Joplin, it is a free and open source note-taking and to-do application designed for Unix-like and Windows operating systems, as well as iOS, Android, and Linux window terminals, in which using this platform, it will allow users to create, organize, and synchronize their notes across multiple devices. And aside from that, it is designed to be a flexible and customizable tool for managing various types of information, including text, images, attachment, and many more. While on the other hand, Evernote is also a popular and versatile note-taking application that allows users to capture, organize, and access various types of information across multiple devices in which it was created to help individuals and businesses collect, manage, and share information in a convenient and organized manner. And some of the features that this platform provides, including note creation and organization, cross-platform availability, search and annotation, collaboration, and many more. And aside from that, Evernote's flexibility, powerful organization features, and wide range of functionalities have made it a popular choice for individuals, professionals, and businesses alike, serving as a digital workspace for organizing ideas, projects, research, personal notes, and many more. And now, after signing in on this platform, you will be directed on this page, in which you will see on the left side panel some of the options that you can start navigating, in which from here, it will show you some of the template that you can start with in creating a notes including a to-do list, reading list, daily reflection, and many more. While on the other hand, under the Joplin platform, Joplin does not have any pre-built templates, unlike Evernote's that has about 60 templates divided into different categories such as creative writing, home, and garden, personal and well-being, and school. On the other hand, Joplin allows customizing the text editor with themes, and also, Joplin uses Markdown for formatting notes, which gives more freedom to format notes, but has some limitation compared to Evernote. However, this platform, Joplin, is also known for its user-friendliness and simplicity, and some of the features that this provides, including organizing notes into notebooks, searchable notes, copy tag and modify notes, attach images and other files to notes, and cross-platform support including Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Android, and iOS. And aside from that, in terms of integration that they offer, Joplin offers various integrations with other services and applications, including Amazon S3, Adobe Acrobat, DC, Microsoft OneDrive, Dropbox, Nextcloud, Fastmail, and many more. And Joplin also has a plugin repository, which allows users to extend the functionality of the application. And the plugins adhere to the Joplin plugin API and can be installed and configured within the application via the plugins page of the configuration screen. While on the other hand, under the Evernote platform, in terms of integration that they also provide, Evernote offers various integrations with other services and applications making it more versatile and convenient for users to manage their notes and tasks. And some of the key integration provided by Evernote, including Web Clipper, Zapier, Pocket, Google Drive and Dropbox, Scanner, Templates, and many more, in which those integrations make Evernote a powerful note-taking tool that can be adapted to various workflows and needs. And aside from the integration that both platform, Joplin, and Evernote provide, both platform also offer the collaboration feature, 
such as in this Evernote platform in terms of collaboration. From here, by simply clicking the share button on the top right corner, it will show you a pop-up window that contain the shareable link that you can send directly to your friends, family, and from here you can even simply enter their email address to invite someone. And aside from that, you can allow them to edit, view, and even edit and invite in your notes. So that is basically the collaboration feature that offer on Evernote platform. While on the other hand, under the Joplin platform, it also offer a collaboration but is only limited features in which Joplin Cloud enables the collaboration features which allows users to share notebooks with other Joplin Cloud users and when a notebook is shared, changes made by all the users sync through Joplin Cloud, making it easier to collaborate on projects. And aside from that, Joplin Cloud also offers an email to Joplin feature which allows users to save their emails in Joplin Cloud by forwarding their emails to a special email address. However, Joplin's collaboration features are not as extensive as Evernote's and it is more suitable for personal use, since Evernote on the other hand offers a more comprehensive solution for team collaboration and business features that allow users to share notes and notebooks with others, collaborate on notes in real time, and assign tasks to team members. And aside from the collaboration feature that both platforms offer, we can now proceed to the pricing plan that both platform Chaplin and Evernote offer. And now as you can see under the Chaplin, it offers three pricing plans for its cloud service, which enables note syncing, sharing, and access to a web-based interface. We have here basic, pro plan, and teams plan. And below here, it will show you the corresponding prices and the list of benefits it included on each plan. And as you can see, the cheapest plan amounting to £2.40 per month, with the benefits including 10 MB per note or attachment, and also 2 gig storage space, and you will be able to publish notes to the internet, sync as many devices as you want, also to access Web Clipper, collaborate on a notebook with others, and many more. While on the other hand, the pricing option that those offer under the Evernote platform, including the free plan, personal, and professional plan. And below, it will show you the corresponding prices and the list of benefits it included on each plan. And as you can see, unlike from Joplin, they offer the free plan. And now that we know the difference between Joplin and Evernote, and all of the feature that they offer, I can say that choosing between Joplin and Evernote depends on the user primary needs and preferences. However, if you prioritize cost, privacy, and open source, Joplin might be a better choice for you. But if you need more advanced collaboration features, a larger user base, and a wider range of features, Evernote could be a better choice or option for you. So that is just a comparison review between Evernote and Joplin. Thank you.